What is up everyone, my name is Jesse, this is The Auditorium, I react to video game music as a musician myself. Today is a Patreon request for Espresso Depresso, this was randomly drawn, congrats. This is Destiny 2, Shell of What Was 3. I believe I've done Destiny, yes I have actually. I've done Destiny one time and it was actually like a little funny story attached to it, you can watch it in my other video. And I think that one had like a guest guitarist from periphery on it so oh that reminds me this one is composed it just says musical artist michael salvatore sky lewin rotomov and peter schlosser i don't remember what destiny is or what it sounds like but i remember it was a big deal i think it was supposed to compete with like halo or something i don't know whatever it doesn't matter shell of what was three I guess this has a couple versions of it. Destiny 2. That is so ugly and dark sounding. I'm guessing it's connected to this nasty thing. Mm. Pretty cool hearing electronic with uh, string section. This makes me so uncomfortable. <laughs> oh, okay. I did that chord is just ringing in the background. Just holding it. Oh, there we go. The snare sounds great. Oh, that was nice. Dun, dun, dun. Oh. And then it just drops out. This song is definitely made for you to not feel good. Not in a song is bad way, but like, you know what I mean? There's a job that it's meant to do here. It's getting a little melodic on this now.
This is dope. In such a weird way. Give me the heebie-jeebies. You know what? After the first 30 seconds or so, I told myself this is gonna get really repetitive. It just had a sort of out of the gate uh, ambiance to it that I just thought was just gonna repeat for five minutes or so. And to my surprise, it barely repeated at all. I was getting new stuff even there at the end. I'm not even sure if it looped. I feel like it did, but maybe not. But they just kept adding stuff. And basically it went from the song, which I thought was gonna be more or less kind of redundant to this very interesting kind of like macabre thing. It made me feel a lot of things. But most of them were, were negative. It felt ugly, uncomfortable. It felt disgusting. It just, I didn't want to be here. I don't know if this led up to something. I don't know if this is the final result of that something. But either way, honestly, like this picture is so accurate about like what I saw in my head, you know, like they don't want to be there. They're like, sinking into this thing or I don't know if it's a theme for that or it could just be a completely unrelated image but the image that I got in my head was something along the lines of this of like a boss character or something but it was kind of I don't know it was like universal because it, it could have sounded like a boss theme but also couldn't have man this song was interesting I'm trying to put into words Let's see, what did I write here? Interestingly enough, although how, like, how great the drums were in this song, because they were there, right? They were holding a groove the whole time. The drums were taking a back seat to the rest of the stuff. Like they were turned down a little bit. They weren't, you know, uh, in your face. It was more about the orchestral stuff, but also more important, the, the big takeaway was that Disgusting chorus like, brrr, the whole time. Barely, it barely let up. It made it made it, it made it feel very alive, like a creature, very like it's breathing or something. But that was just there like the whole time. With, there was like maybe ten seconds that it wasn't there. And I don't know. I just that's why I just kept giving me this like consistent ugly feeling. It was probably because of that that one chord. What did I write here? Oh. Uh, genre. <laughs> I wrote metal, kind of, because I don't know what that was. It was like, it wasn't really neoclassical and it wasn't really metal. It was just like a really heavy, ugly thing. <laughs> but it was interesting though, because I haven't really heard much stuff like this. You know what this reminded me of actually, now that I just said that? This is, this is a kind of left field, but maybe somehow still connected. There's this uh, metal band, I'm not even sure if they're still around, but I just heard this song the other day and it reminded me of it because it's still fresh in my memory. I don't know if you guys have heard of Born, Born of Osiris. They have a song called Machine. I think it's their most popular song ever. And I got feelings of that song here, which is funny because when I think of Born of Osiris, I also kind of think in the same realm as Periphery, who has basically worked on Destiny as well. So all these little knickknacks are coming together very interesting song i think the most interesting part about it were the string section because they had melody they weren't they weren't just ambience it was there were leads but they kept changing it didn't really repeat itself too much it kept adding the i don't know it just felt okay let me just condense this this song felt very alive and moving, just like a, a just basically a beast. Whatever this is, I really hope it's connected to this thing because it really fits that. And if not, then that's just what I got from it. I felt like this, whatever this was, was very alive and wants you to not be alive. 
it was it was so enjoyable because I was because I wasn't experiencing what was going on. You know how context is such a big deal, of course. I feel like if you're playing this and you hear that, you know, stuff's going to go down south pretty quickly. But hearing it from the outside where I'm nice and, you know, cozy in my in my room, then I was just like, "Whoa, this is like cinematic but also really immersive." I thought that was really cool actually. So funny how I originally thought I was going to be kind of bored with it after about a minute. It turned into this kind of crusade of, ooh, ah, what is this? What is that? Why is that it there? Like, when is this going to change? And from what I'm seeing, it's called Shell of What Was 3. So there's more, I'm assuming, which is exciting for me because that means... It's a cliffhanger to be continued. Is this, is this the last one? Is this one of 10? I don't know how many Destiny games there are, but I am, I am, what I'm saying to you is I'm very curious. Please tell me more about Destiny 2 and what this refers to. That was really cool. Unexpected, interesting, ugly, epic, all these single words that I can think of, but overall enjoyable. <laughs> Even though it probably isn't meant to be. But musically it is. I just can't stop staring at it. So it's just so... Reminds me of uh, Near Replicants. Um, shades. Kind of getting that same... Not, not the music, but that. And I feel like that character. <laughs> like, what am I getting myself into? Anyways, thank you Espresso Depresso and thank you to Destiny fans that are watching this. I want to give a big shout out to my uh, Patreon supporters and PayPal supporters and just anyone who watches these. And a big thank you to my Platinum supporters. That is Kevin, Patrick, Shadow Maxim, Vanadel, Kalanin, Gardelaine, Mushimeri, Justin, and Knox. For those that don't know, those are the people that skip the line via my highest tier on Patreon. Anywho, let me know more. And this, I, I just noticed Bungie, so just noticed that right now because I've, I've been staring at this character this whole time what else have i been missing oh man it has multiple legs <laughs> just been looking at the head anyways until next time dudes and dads my name is jesse let me know more about destiny i will see you all in the next video peace